Greetings all, Frog here, let's play Human Resource Machine. We're picking up the pieces, basically. A couple of things that I did while you were gone. One, uh, I looked at one of the achievements and it was to ask all of the bosses the additional thing, you know, when they had the exclamation point above their head. I hadn't done that, so I had to go through all the way, and it took me until like 14 before I got them all. So at, at this point is when I started doing all of them. Then you'll also notice all of the dots in blue are filled in, because I did those. I just had a few of them, and I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna do them. Because we have a bunch up here anyway, so... Uh, we're just gonna try and, and complete some dots. We're gonna play th to this episode and then the one on Friday and that'll that'll be it and Then we'll move on to something else But we're gonna at least uh, finish up here and try and complete it maybe before we go on All right, what are we doing here for each zero terminated string? You must reverse it and put it in the outbox. Can I use a can? Okay, so This seems to me don't you just have to take from the inbox If it's zero go to the very end All right, this is going to be I so to set the whole thing up, we have to copy from zero to I. All right. So go to the inbox. If it's zero, we jump to the end. Otherwise, we're going to copy this to I. We're going to bump I. We're going to actually bump I. And then we go back to the inbox. Okay. So we're taking it from the inbox, we're putting them on the floor, we're increasing this number, right? We're bumping it up, blah, 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 blah. If it's zero, our string is over. So now what we have to do is copy from I, throw it in the outbox, bump I down. If it's zero, go back to the top. This is simple. Why, why did I have such problems with this? I don't know. What are we trying to hit? 11. Maybe I was just tired. Because this seems pretty straight. I don't know how they got reversed. Wait a minute, what? Stars with zero. Oh, right. Okay, well that's fine. So we just do this first. Oh, so here's our problem, right? So now I'm not, it's not zero. So this will be 12. Well, I don't need I. I just use 14 as I. Because I'm gonna get down to a zero state. Right? Get rid of this. Make this eye. This is always going to get back down to zero. If it's zero, that. If not, jump up, get her done. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. 105 steps in the other version, though. That's pretty good. All right. We didn't do anything well with this sucker. What are we doing here? For each thing in the inbox, send it to the outbox a total number of items matching it on the floor. Oh, I've done this twice. What am I supposed to do? 16 commands. That one had 30. That one had 12. Why doesn't this work? Why doesn't this work? Did I just not finish it? Mmm, that 
that's why. So what if we just invert it? Alright, so we're going to take this whole thing. We're going to put our letter here. L. That looks awful. Put our letter here. We're going to put the count here. We're going to take from the copy. Uh, we're going to take the inbox. Throw it to here. Okay. We're going to copy from zero. We're going to do this first. And we're going to throw it into I. And we're going to throw it into this. So we have our index and we also have our number. I don't like using number. It's very inappropriate for programming, but that's fine. So we set up our numbers. We copy to L. And all we have to do is copy from I. If it's zero, we're going to go do something else. If it's not zero, subtract L. If it's zero, that means it's the same. So we're going to... How many do I have to do this in? 10? 16. Oh, okay. So if it's if it's zero, that means it's the same. If it's not zero, we're going to just jump. Back to here after we bump that. If it is zero... Actually, hold on. You need to bump that either way. If it's zero, it's, it matches, so we need to bump up the number. Either way, we need to bump up this. I think I just confused myself. Let me go back up to here. All right, if this number is zero, we're done. Copy from here, throw it in the out box, and jump to the top. 16 commands, let's see how I screwed it up. Oh, I went, bump, I went negative, that's, that's my bad. working. So it's going to work for the commands, but will it work for the speed? I don't know. for the size challenge. Speed? Oh, does not work for the speed challenge. Okay. Well, now we don't have to worry about size anymore. So is there a way to do this better? Faster. I'm trying to think of a way maybe you could just count them on the floor first and then compare whatever you have. that work? Probably not. So, how do we get this to be faster execution? How far off was it? I wish it, I wish it knew. 435. So it's 38 steps too many.
Hmm. Let's do on that one. We can check off the uh, at least the one part of it. So 31 is done. And then 32, the top is done. Now let's take a look at the vowel incinerator. Just gonna do a couple, play for about 20 minutes, you know? We don't have anything on the- <laughs> Guys, guys! Alright, what's our goal? 13 and 323. Oh, well at 18 we were at 358, so we can get it to 13, I think we'll do well. Why am I doing all of this? What does this do? Why did I need that to say four? Because I didn't know how to test for zero. Right, now I'm gonna go sub for each one. Instead of, oh yeah, 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 okay, I get it, all right. Because I didn't know how to test for zero. Because I was dumb. All right, so we're gonna throw the number right here. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna store the input right here, boom. Okay. So we're gonna take from the inbox, we're gonna throw it into, do, throw it into L. Actually, the first thing we have to do is copy from here to here. Okay, then we're gonna take it from the inbox, we're gonna copy to L. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy from our index. We're gonna subtract L. If it's zero, we go back to the top because we're done. Otherwise, we bump our number and we go back to here. Now, when we copy from this number, if the number itself is zero, we're done. So we copy from L throw it in the outbox and start over. 13 is our goal, I hope. It is. Let's do this thing. A lot of these, I think, I must have been tired when I was doing these. They're working so far. It seems so obvious in the light of day. So we know we hit the top, did we get the bottom? We did, perfect. All right, that one's done. All right, duplicate removal. Racing through these bad boys. Send everything from the inbox to the outbox unless we've had it before. Okay. So we've done it. We speed challenges in. But we gotta do it in 17 steps. Okay. No problem. So the first thing we do is we're gonna take from the outbox. We're gonna throw it to our number. Yeah, so we're gonna throw it to copy to this, which is going to be our inventory count. It's our index. Let's take it from the inbox, we're going to throw it to the inbox. So, which means the first thing we have to do is we have to copy from here to here. So we have our index. We may not even need that. I might be able to use that as an index, but we'll find out in a minute. So we throw it into the index. See what I'm doing. Yeah. So I've got a primary index value, which should be I, but that's alright. So I've got my index value, and I'm throwing these things on the floor. So I throw it on the floor. Have I seen it? And I test to see if I've seen it before. 
have, so I go out and then I don't update that. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so how many steps was this? <clears throat> 165, but it took 22 commands to get there. So basically, how do I trim three? Five. How do I trim five commands out of this? Well, I need this loop to be able to handle this, is what, it, what has to happen. I've got my index value there. I like how we just add it on to the end, and if we've already seen it, then who cares? So this will be R for a repeat. All right, so we take the inbox, we copy to I. Oh, this won't work. You basically have to do it without just tossing the first one into the... What if I don't outbox every time? What if I just put everything on the floor and then outbox at the end? I kind of like where this is going. So I take something from the inbox, I throw it to the floor. Right? <clears throat> so what I want to do is actually take some of this. Copy from 14 to I, that resets the thing. Subtract I, if it's zero, we know it's the same, so stop. And if K goes to zero, unique, but I don't want to do that. What I'm going to basically do is just take the index at the end. So I want to take this whole subtraction routine here. So subtract from my secondary number. So I'm going to subtract this. If it's zero, they're the same. So we jump to here. If it's not zero, bump R. If it's negative, we've come to the end. I don't like doing that, but I'm going to keep it in for a second. Because then we're going to reset that. So take my the box, throw it to there, bump this up. No, I'll say I don't, no, that's, that's a wrong, that's wrong thinking. Let's step through this for a second. Restart a value. So if it's negative, we're at the end. We need to start over. I only have 16, 17 commands for this? Jesus. Okay, um... Take from the inbox... If it's, if it's negative... We need to copy from 14. And then jump back to here.
it's not negative, then you need to do this again. Crap, I forgot to bump by. Yep, that's the problem. Can't jump to here to reset. should work actually. Crap, it never goes up. I'm on, I'm on the verge of it. Just copy it to I. You have to do this before you can do this. Oh wait, because we're not counting down. Crap, these are going in the wrong direction. Gracious. R always needs to be negative. Bollocks. All right. Well, I'm kind of doing a time limit thing here. So we will take a look at this next little bit. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven challenges to do in the next episode. We'll see if we get it done. If we don't get it done, that's fine too. But we'll take a look at that, kind of take, see, all right, so we know that we need a little more help on uh, inventory report, maybe on duplicate removal. We'll check into those, see what we can do to make them a little bit better on the outside. But for now, we will call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.